of a true queen. The reign may end, but the mission to spread beauty with a purpose continues. Let's look back at the meaningful journey of our Miss World Philippines Queens. There is nothing more rare nor more exquisite than a woman being unapologetically herself. Comfortable in her perfect imperfection, to me that is the true essence of beauty. Being the first Miss Multinational is where this essence of beauty rose the strongest. And as I pass on the crown to my successor, I pass on this piece of advice. Your hardest times will often lead to the greatest moments of your life, so keep going. After all, no one ever grew in their comfort zones. It is in the tough situations that mold strong people. Ultimately, you'll stop fearing failure because it's only when you stop trying that you truly fail. And always remember you are in a journey with the people who love you. At this point, I would like to send my love to my parents for allowing my strong personality to find its place in the world. My friends for their passionate support. My mentors, Mama Jonti and Tito Nikki of Galatea. Tito Rogel, Mami G, Tito Jerome, Kuya Enan of Kagandahan Flores. You made me and you delivered me to a lifelong dream. Because of you, I am stronger with more faith in myself. I am ambitious in my goals knowing I can do anything I put my mind into. Now I am a woman with bigger courage, eager to face the next big challenge with absolutely no hint of doubt and fear. I am Sophia Signoron, your Miss Multinational 2017. Mabuhay! Maraming salamat sa inyo lahat. We often hear the phrase that all good things must come to an end. While it is true, it can also be different. Good things does not necessarily have to end. It can continue in another way. This time last year, I was a brave little dreamer who is praying that one day I will reach for the stars and make my dreams come to life. Little did I know, the sky goes beyond the limit and the world is ours to take. Being crowned as Miss Eco International 2018 fulfilled not only my dream, but the dream of so many Filipinos. I have people who are constantly behind me from the beginning of this journey. My sincerest gratitude to my family for the never-ending support, to my Sinfiaras for fighting battles with me, to my KF family for spending endless hours to build me to become the best person that I am, to my friends for the words of encouragement, to ALV for the opportunity and trust. My Miss World Philippine sisters, thank you for becoming my family. My reign may have come to an end, but my purpose lives on. The core advocacy of Miss Eco International, which is preserving Mother Nature and all its wonders and fighting malnutrition, is now an adventure that I am very much willing to continue. I encourage each of us to be the best towards our creation that we can be. At the end of the day, we have that invisible crown to keep in our head and a purpose to fulfill in our heart. I am your Miss Eco International 2018, Cynthia Tomala. This past year has made me a more complete and a well-rounded person. The wisdom of amazing people made it more meaningful. People from various walks of life and different cultures taught me how to think big and transformative. They have affected my life in ways I couldn't have imagined. The journey was not easy. It wasn't smooth sailing, but I am grateful for the people who believed in me. I knew I surpassed the challenges because they held my hand. To my family and loved ones, thank you for your unconditional love and for supporting me in whatever I set my mind to. You guys are my rock. Aces and queens and my fairy godmothers who trained me to be confident when I am on stage and taught me how to handle compliments and criticisms. My fans who has been there since day one and gave me undying support. ALV for giving me an opportunity to represent the Philippines. And lastly, my Miss World Philippine sisters, thank you for all the beautiful memories. I will forever cherish all the moments we shared together. And I am so lucky to have shared the stage with you. I am also grateful for my community engagement program. I realize that charity and goodness can also best be taught through series of educational activities. My reign may end tonight, but my journey toward helping create a better world for others, especially the little ones, has just begun. May faith, hope, and love be upon us all. I am Teresita Sen Winwin Marquez, your first Filipina, Reina Hispano American. When I was a little girl, I never dreamt of becoming a beauty queen. 
Not because I didn't want to, but because I never believed I could. And so, standing here tonight, I hope I remind you never to limit yourself. Because one day, your crazy dreams like mine just might come true. The ones that you're afraid even to say out loud. Because trust me, impossible only depends on you. Growing up, I never knew how to put makeup or pose or wear heels like this. But believe me when I say that Miss World Philippines is not about that. It's about having a heart that is kind and gentle, but also powerful and fearless in making a difference. So tonight, as I end the most magical year of my life, the only thing I feel is gratitude. Gratitude first for the people who got me here, my family, aces and queens, Bessie, Ben, Sir Arnold. Gratitude next for my country, because let's admit it guys, Filipino fans are the best in the world. And gratitude lastly, knowing that after tonight, another girl can live her fairy tale too. Maraming maraming salamat sa mahal kong Pilipinas. My name is Laura Liman, and I am your Miss World Philippines 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, your Miss World Philippines 2017 queen. of winners when Miss World Philippines 2018 returns.